Hello everyone, hope you are well on a Wednesday. I'm gonna get right into it here. Well, if you think that the storming of the United States Capitol last January 6th was such a terrible thing, uh, what's going on uh, over there in Kazakhstan uh, the last couple of days and today, it's making that look like a quiet little Sunday afternoon walk in the park. Uh, according to reports, we've got protesters in Kazakhstan's largest city stormed the presidential residence and the mayor's office on Wednesday and set both buildings on fire. Demonstrations uh, were sparked by a rise in fuel prices in the Central Asian nation and this escalated sharply. So we have a situation going on over there. It's a fairly large country and uh, spiraling out of control, it looks like. Uh, from news reports, it looks like they're on the verge of a revolution. And uh, just, I know I started out like January 1st and 2nd uh, with a touch of optimism, but this January 5th and I'm, that eerie feeling is coming back. And I, I've got that eerie feeling again of, uh, of 2022. I really do for many reasons, but Back to this, uh, so this apparently this has been brewing for days over there and you got mass protests, uh, thousands of people in the streets. Uh, they've stormed uh, the presidential residence, the mayor's office. Uh, they are holding buildings. They have seized buildings, not just one building. Uh, it's growing across the country now. Uh, they've seized vehicles, military vehicles, military personnel. They've detained military personnel. Citizens have. Uh, there's some video of that, too. Uh, they have also, the government, the, the president, in response, came out and said that he is vowing maximum, uh, maximum response on this. So what was the words? I think uh, maximum uh, force to quell this. So far, it's not working. Uh, but the government apparently has taken down the internet. So no internet, TV, or cell service. Uh, this country does, it, it is noted that this country is reported to have extensive oil reserves. So that's interesting. And why are we talking about Kazakhstan so much? Well, you could say, well, dog, that could never happen here. Are you sure? Think again. Uh, you know, last January 6th was just uh, nothing compared to this. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it could it definitely could happen again. Uh, I think it'd be, I think it would look very different. It would be very different, in my opinion. But think about it, it's something to, to really ponder on. And you know, we people have touched on it before, but are you prepared? Are you ready for uh, no internet? You know, what if something does happen? It doesn't even have to be a big event, but uh, to have no inter internet, TV, cell service. That would mean no Starbucks for a lot of you folks. Some of you folks, um, but do you have a plan for that? You know, uh, I think just the internet being out, just that alone uh, could trigger an SHTF situation widespread. I really do. I mean, it affects so much. We rely on it so much in just daily living, daily business. Uh, people work, you know, have to have it. We've become so reliant on it on the internet electronics, all those devices. So it's something to think about. Do you have a backup? Do you have a backup system? Uh, do you have a plan uh, for that? Do you have a plan of communications? Uh, I think uh, when things spiral out of control like this, or even before they do, I think that's one of the things that they would do is cut off communications. Think about the banks. You have access to your bank, your money. Again, your communication. Are you going to pay for things? Do you have some cash out? 
Would that even matter? Gasoline, put in your vehicle. How are you going to get around? How are you going to work? You know, so uh, are you ready for an event like that? It's difficult. You know, it really is. Uh, when have we gone through that, except for just short term, you know, when you have a power outage for a day or two, uh, something like that. But a total system uh, down like that uh, for even, can you imagine even a week? or even three days, four days. I think it would be chaos. I really do. I really do. Uh, some countries, may not, maybe not as much, but here, United States, or most of North America even, I think it would. Share your thoughts on that. But uh, this is something to think about, something to keep uh, track of. I'm going to follow this story. Uh, it's unfolding. It's, uh, it looks like they're really in a chaos over there. And that's in an um, interesting spot in the world there as well. Like I said, they're right up against uh, China, Russia, and um, yeah, geopolitically very interesting. So keep an eye on this. Um, let me know what you think about it. Uh, you know, are you ready for something like this to happen here? Or even if it's in, you know, a certain region of the United States or your area. Verse of the day. Psalms 50, verse 15, says, uh, And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. Amen. Yes, we will. So when things look down, when things are going wrong, uh, we can't, it's hard not to focus on that alone, you know. Uh, but we have to focus on our faith our belief system, God. We really have to focus on that more than, uh, you know, not let the issue, not let uh, a bad day or uh, hard times uh, dominate everything and just totally destroy us. We can't let that happen. Uh, we have to keep our focus on our faith, on Christ, and he will provide. He is faithful to get you through it. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be in the next five minutes. But we must keep the faith, too. That is my message. Share your thoughts again. Take care. Be aware out there. Be safe. Be healthy. God bless you. I will see you soon.